Hello guys, welcome to Amit Things. In this video, we will see how we can easily download and install Python current version on macOS. So the current version of Python is 3.9.6. So we will also install pip. Since the version we are installing is above Python 3.9.4, that means pip will come pre-installed. Pip is a package management software which is used to install and manage packages on Python. At first, we will see that whether any Python version is installed on your system. For that herein go to spotlight search, type terminal, click on it to open, type the command python hyphen hyphen version, press enter. Herein you can see we have python 2.7.16 but we want python 3.9 and above version that is the current version python 3.96. So how we will install it? Herein let's go to the browser. We are using Chrome, you can use any browser here in type Python. Press enter. On pressing enter, go to the official website python.org, click on it. Here in you can see the current version for Mac OS is Python 3.9.6. You can see download for Mac OS, click on it to download. Now the download started. You need to wait for a few seconds, it's only 28 MB. So guys, we have downloaded it. Right click and show in finder. Now double click on it to install. Here it is. Let's minimize. You can see 3.9.6 package for Mac OS. Click on continue. Here is the certificates and other stuff. License. Click on continue. Here is the license. Click on continue again. Agree. Now you can see it will get installed under the following. Destination, it will only take 118.9 MB. So I'll keep the default and click on continue. Here in you can from here in you can change the install location, but I'll keep the default and click on install. Enter the password. This is the password of your Mac system. Click on install software. Now the installation started. You need to wait for a few seconds. So here you can see guys we successfully installed it. So let us go to the terminal again. We saved the terminal here. If you don't know where the terminal is just just go to the spotlight search and type terminal. That's it. Click on it. Now let us see python hyphen hyphen version the same command 2.7.16 but we installed python 3 plus therefore python 3 hyphen hyphen version and press enter. Here it here you can see we successfully installed python 3.9.6 now let us try to search for pip pip 3 hyphen hyphen version press enter here you can see we successfully installed pip also so let us see the path wherein we installed python 3 for that type the which command and press enter here you can see here is the path so you can just copy this path now go to go here click on go to folder here paste it and click on go yeah click on go here it is now you can see python 3.9 files are visible pip3 pydoc3 the configuration files everything is visible that means we have successfully installed python 3 so guys we successfully installed python as well as pip so now how we will run our first python program for that go to the spotlight search again here in type ideally click on ideally ideally is an id for python which got installed when you installed python here it is now you can see the font is really less go to the ideally sign go to preferences now you can see fonts are visible it's only 11 i'll just change it to 20 that's it now click on apply you can see it's visible now close it now let us run our first python program type print the syntax is visible. Let's say I'll type Amit things. That's it. Now I'll just press enter and the output will be visible. So you can see you can successfully run a Python program. If you want to save this file, go to file. Just type save as and you can save it anywhere. And documents, I'll save it on the desktop. Name, I'll give it to let's say demo.py. That's it. Format it to on its own. Click on save. So we have saved it. Where it is, here you can see we created a new python file. Open with let's say 
text edit and here you can see our python file is visible so guys in this video we saw how we can download and install python current version on mac we also installed pip and we also saw how we can run our first python program on python ideally so guys thank you for watching the video if you liked it do subscribe to our channel amit things